Good morning. Today is Wednesday. I don't even know the date. I don't know. I think it's January 8th. I'm, I'm January. Listen to me. March 8th. But it's the day after my, I had chemo yesterday. Yesterday was my sixth round. It went well. They are doing, as I suspected though, they're doing the same thing that they did with the AC. And I feel like now that they know that I don't really have a reaction to it, at least not like, you know, like right there when they give me um, my treatment, that they just, I feel like they just keep trying to like push it sooner and sooner. I started out at eight o'clock in the morning and we were done by like 1 o'clock. I think it was about two o'clock. So what was different this time is I still did the ice, um, gloves and booties. Benad- oh, I've got the hiccup so bad. The Benadryl this time around, um, when they gave it to me, I definitely f- still felt it for sure. But like I said, it was my second time. So I kind of like, you know, I guess you could say I've like built up a little bit of a resistance to it or like know what to expect. And, uh, I don't know, this time I found that I just kept talking, kept a conversation going with my sister and it was only for about a half hour that I, that I was like, okay, I feel like I kind of could nod off, but I don't know. I sort of pushed through it. And then once I pushed through it, it actually, and I think because I was getting up and going to the bathroom so often, um, it wasn't so bad. So I ate more. I had more of an appetite, which I normally, like all through the AC, I never ate during treatment. Ugh. The other thing is, I was having an issue with the B vitamin. I think I mentioned that before. I can't remember. The B complex. And so I mentioned it to them where I go for treatment and she said oh gosh if it's giving you that much trouble no just stop taking that um she's like you know believe it or not I'm gonna recommend and and don't go crazy with them but I'm gonna recommend um an energy drink uh started my rock star opened it and started sipping on that during treatment um it lasted me most of my treatment. I brought it home. I probably sipped on it for, I don't know, maybe another hour. And it's about it. And it was pretty flat anyway. Um, so I would say I drank eh, maybe three quarters of a can. But like she said, it definitely helped with uh, energy. And we're going to see. You know what? I got to go and get my shot today. My new Lasta. So treatment is not as bad as a lot of people think that it is, but it's also not always as pleasant as it can be played off to be, you know, I can put on a happy face through a lot. Have a good day and stay strong. Good morning. I'm just hopping on here real quick to just, I guess, I don't know. It's not really an update, but I said before There's good days and there's bad days. And this is a day after New Lasta. It actually started uh, much earlier. I got my shot or my injection yesterday. Probably about 3 o'clock. No, 2 o'clock. And I would say by 6 o'clock, I was starting to feel it. It was starting to kick in. I don't know if it's because, I don't know, I feel like this reacts differently this time with the Taxol instead of the AC because 
even though the Taxol seems easier to handle than when I get that new Lasta shot. It, oh, I've, these last two times have felt worse. <sighs> like my entire rib cage when I st uh, stand up to try to walk and go to the bathroom, like. My entire rib cage, my hips, and like all the way down my back and my spine just hurt so bad. Like even to take a breath it just hurts so incredibly bad until my pain meds kick in. Which I just took another tramadol, so I'm waiting for that to kick in, but... I have such a sore throat, too. Oh, but, just gotta get through it. Um, I can't really tell yet if the energy drink has been working for the vitamin B. Um, I mean, so far, my feet don't feel any worse. I don't feel any better either. But so far they don't feel any worse, so maybe that's working. Excuse me. Um, oh, yeah, that's pretty much all the updates I have right now. I'm just not feeling it today at all. Maybe I'll feel better in a little bit. Bye-bye. Stay strong. Good morning, guys. Uh, today is Saturday. Uh, um, I don't even know the date. It is two days past Nulasta injection. So I'm getting up and about a little bit more. How are you feeling? Ninety-eight point four, so good. I do not have a fever now. For the drugs, which luckily, now that we're going into a non-treatment week, um, the drugs aren't so many or so bad. So today, I'm only taking Tylenol, which is just for minor aches and pains and a headache. I always take my vitamin D3 and um, lorazepam. And I have to take it with soda. I don't drink the whole can, but I don't know. There's something wrong with me that I cannot take medicine without a soda. But I got sick twice. We're thinking that it's because I wasn't eating or drinking like I should and then taking all that type of meds. We're thinking, but we don't know for sure. If that's really, really my worst severe um, side effect or reaction from chemo then or the Nulasta, then I just have to take it. This is just updating you on my neuropathy. I started getting neuropathy um, within two days. I just have to make sure that's not a rash that I'm starting to get, but I think it might just be a like sweat from my glasses, I'm hoping. Sorry. Um, yeah, so about two days after my first cycle, I started getting the, the neuropathy feeling in my feet, but it was more like just the tips of my toes and then this padding right here. Um, but not bad, not painful at all. Um, but just, it, you notice it and it's annoying. And before you really get it figured out what it is, you're just like, what is going on? But I talked to my um oncologist about it and you know she said it's perfectly normal and that that's why they warn you that this 
type of chemo that I'm getting um, does do that for you. Um, but I basically have to be my um, own best advocate. It's because one, um, anything d dealing with neuropathy potentially can be permanent. So I'm not going to hammer through and plow through this and feel like I'm a big strong girl just so that I can have something permanent for the rest of my life that affects the quality of my life. Then I was asking the oncologist about, well, how do you know when the signs are too bad that you should stop or you should reduce your dose or whatever? Um, quite frankly, the answers are fucking sickening. For my feet, it has to get so bad that I would I can't even walk straight, that I'm constantly tripping before they would stop it or reduce it. Um, and as far as my fingers go, it has to be so bad that I cannot zip or button. Uh, no, I'm not waiting for it to get that bad. Right now, that's not it. Because right now, if I am just sitting here, um, I don't feel anything like I feel totally normal, but if I go and move my hands or if I go and wiggle my foot or go to get up and do something, any type of like movement, it's like there. Um, I did get a, um, uh, what do you call it? I think it's actually considered like a shiatsu foot massager with heat. But I bought it because um, I heard that reflexology was really good uh, for your feet and especially um, for dealing with neuropathy. Uh -huh.